If you're not continuously growing, then that means you are dead. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my, my name. name. Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Another beautiful day in the lab and studio, the comfort killer. Are you a comfort killer? If so, the link is below. Download the free starter pack, and what I want to do with this starter pack is bring you through your personal development plan. I believe 100%ly that self-improvement and personal development, a self-directed thing, is the only way that you could change your life. It's the only thing that you could do to get on that journey, to get on that path. And what we plan to do here with the Comfort Killers is take you on that development plan and help support your growth. Okay, and help support that success. And that's all we're here because, you know, personal development is a crazy, big, scary field. All right, you jump in it and you don't know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about one thing that has helped me throughout my entrepreneurial journey, throughout my personal development journey, my self improvement. Okay, and it's these things here. You know what these things are? These things, these babies, these little things here are journals. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you even journal, bro? What are you writing down? What are you documenting? Who's documenting your life? See, if we leave it up to the scoundrels, okay, they will put whatever they want inside of your book of life. What are you putting in your own book of life? This is how I look at it. I look at guys like Benjamin Franklin. I'm saying the autobiography, baby. Keep writing your life. That's why I love it, because no one could tell it like you. No one's going to be able to look back in time and see your growth. And these things, man, if I had my hand on Benjamin Franklin's journal, baby, 1770, baby, what were you up to? Man, I would read that shit. But here's what I did. You know, and these things are old and dusty. I even got tape. <laughs> tape outlined in this pocket here and on this pocket I just want to read what I wrote I said to follow under all circumstances the highest promptings within me and to pursue my purpose with a fearless and restful heart believing that the future will yield unto me the need of every thought and effort Man, Stacy, look at this. Look at this crap that I had in here. This is not crap, man. This is gold. But look, I have index cards full of affirmations. I am building a business that produces quality, inspiration, and happy customers. When did I write that? It's a beautiful thing. I am open to people, resources, and experiences that will open doors of opportunity to succeed with this goal in return. I will pay out money for that value. Some affirmations here. Man, it just keeps going. Personal, this is a beautiful thing. You know, when you have someone that um, just is so self-directed on their development, you got to give that person some love. So my question again is, do you even journal? The, one of the things that I want to share with you is some three things that I always seem to put in my journal. And this will help you because your journal is not to, to write about your boyfriend and what they did to you and your, your ex and how you know upset you were. And it's not a depressive thing. Your journal is supposed to be this ex explosive experience of life and love and energy and beingness and, and development and growth, man. I, did I say that already? So... Here are three things that will help you right now in a journal. And if you don't have a journal, we have some on our Comfort Killers website. The, hit the products, thecomfortkillers.com, and check it out. It has a beautiful comfort killing emblem that you could just show off. And you put it down in Starbucks and people know not to F with you because you are a comfort killer. So if you, need, if, you, if you are in need of a journal, head over to the website right now. But these are the three things here. You wanna put what you're grateful for. You wanna start off, and let me see if I did that, because I love to, to practice what I preach here, and uh, and I wanna make sure that it's there. And I'm gonna come up a little closer here. This is 1-1-15. Man, this was a new year here, 2015. Just crossed over 
from 2014 says, grateful to see today in all dimensions. It said, I threw up last night many times. I cannot hang. I went out. I cannot hang, nor do I want to. My goal today is to recoup what I have lost, but also start my action plan. I was heavy in gambling here. I can tell. See, I've been addicted to gambling for nine years. It was the uh, pivotal point in my life where I realized, man, I got to start doing constructive things and not destructive things. I could tell. I went to the casino the night before. And then I said I threw up all night. So, and, and I wanted to start my action plan. So you start with gratitude. You're still grateful. No matter what, you're grateful. So write three things down that you're grateful for. The second thing is what do you plan to, to develop? What things are you working on? What are you going to do today? What are some things that you want to see done and achieved and accomplished today? Write it. Write it. I am. I am. You know, um, and the third thing is, you know, and what I love is at the end of the night, you know, you want to write those goals down. And you, write, you want to write those success, the success things. So if anything, three parts is gratitude, you want to write what you're going to get done today, your goals, and you want to write the successes of the day. And the successes could be small, they could be large, whatever. Small successes are even the best ones because that means you're paying attention to the small things in life. You're paying attention to the details. That's what that means. Get you a journal. It's not a depressive thing. It's a beautiful thing. Start documenting your life. Start writing your story, because that's what it is. You are writing your story. It's documented. I cannot go back and erase that day, erase that page. I can rip it up, but what good does that do for me? And especially when I could open any one of my journals up, and guess what? Read where I've been. Read how much I've grown. Read how far I've gotten. Don't you want that? Don't you want to have this landscape of, of this pieces and segmented of your experiences in life where you can go back in time and say, look, look, Stace, look how far you have come. I want you to do the same. You're a comfort killer. Journaling is very important in your personal development. Again, if you don't have a journal to get started today, get a blank sheet of paper, man. Get a pen and get started. But we got some journals on the website. The link is below. Let's get it. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Until next time, come for killers.